Oh, hey there. So what am I doing? Um, part of the micro squirt wiring uh, in the harness, it dictates, and I've said before, it's a wasted spark setup, meaning it fires two coils at every time. So, you need to find continuity um, in terms of which coil output is which wire. On each coil pigtail, it's four pins. And on every coil, it's going to be three out of the four of the same color. You're going to have pink. You're going to have a black and a brown, and then a different color. In this case, number one is purple. So, the pink is your 12 volt key. We all know this. It's going to go to a fused source. 12 volt, fused. Uh, not constant, switched. Your black, it's going to go to, uh, you can take it to the cylinder head, you can ground it with that, all of your other sensors. Um, but from what I understand, most importantly, is the brown. The brown is another type of ground, and from my research and my understanding, you don't ground this to your sheet metal, you don't ground this to the, uh, to the chassis, you don't ground it to the firewall, you don't ground it with your other grounds. The brown coil wires, which, have, which I'm going to find out right now by doing continuity, Get a little indicator. The brown always goes to the cylinder head. Directly to the cylinder head, do you want it? Nothing else. So let's find out where that brown goes. Let's see if I can make this work. I don't know if I can get my probe in there. Apparently not. Might have to give it a little ass. There's our brown. The brown. wire is this one, the top left corner in the harness. That's how you test continuity. That brown goes to the cylinder head. So what I'm doing right now is finding, well, I'm stripping the edges of the wiring, or the, taking the, uh, ah, it's been an interesting day. Just taking the insulation off the end of the wires. Let's give you a bird's eye view. <clears throat> and I'm trying to determine what's going to go where. Here's our pink, obviously. I just said it. Pink is power. And I'm going to test it just to verify because you never know. People do wonky shit. I don't think I can get in there deep enough. There it is. Pink is power to our number one coil. So that answers that question. So I need to figure out if the colors, if the color, which is purple here, matches purple here. Common sense dictates it should, but we can never assume anything, especially for a little delicate procedure like this. There's my purple, checking continuity. Gotta dig deeper. Purple's purple. It may be safe to assume, but you know what assuming does, and you know what assuming gets you. What's number three look like? Number three looks like. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. It's a, it's like a light green or a green or something. Maybe a blue. Yeah, this harness is old. Let's, uh, let's see if I get in there and verify. Let's get that baby blue. It's a nice baby blue color. This is no-brainer type stuff. I haven't got the harness yet, so I guess I'm just kind of 
farting around. I got a couple defunct sensor or uh, defunct harnesses. Some folks pay money for them, but yeah, if they're not butchered and they're complete, well, this is really chapping my hiney. Let's see if I can get in here. Let's give it a good stab without destroying the fucking pin. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. I wonder if I got a little piece of wire or a nail or something I can stick in there. Oh, a good old dental pick. <clears throat> this may do the trick. Maybe. It's one of them situations where I was wishing I was born with another set of hands. What's the verdict? Right, we already know that's our ground. We already know that's the other ground. We already know that's our 12 volt keyed source. Yep. Baby blue. Does the trick. Number three. It's baby blue. I should probably mark these as long as I go too, you know. So I said I'll write it down here. Some of this nice super awesome painter's tape. Number one's big perp. I said number three here is Baby Blue, how about you? And that was a Pilot pen. I don't care what anybody says, Pilot makes some of the best pens ever. I'm a pen sucker. And I just dropped that on the tip, so you know what that means. That pen is junk. There's my number three. What do we got here? Looks like a big green. Once again, testing for continuity. By now, at this point in the video, I'm sure you guys understand where I'm going with this. This technology isn't new that I'm going to be getting. Like I said, this is... I ain't spending the money. It's my brother's project, so let him pay for it. <laughs> nah. It's going to run really nice for him. tell I'm getting a little frustrated here. I wish I had another hand. Oh! Dark green number five. So you guys get the, the you guys get the idea of what I'm doing. Marking your cylinders, marking your grounds. Because this is really critical, especially if you want to move away from factory uh, GM uh, engine management and you want to go with the super simple stuff. Uh, you have to pay a little bit more attention to detail. You don't want to blow the thing up. I mean, you don't want to have the frickin' uh, coils firing on your frickin' intakes. And your uh, intake stroke or your compression stroke, you can really tear your shit up. So, another little benefit. Any questions, comments, feel free to ask. I try to do my best to get to as many of you as possible. As always, like and subscribe. Stay warm. Catch up soon.